Hey everyone, I'm Pam and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am here and I'm going to be opening up my Odin's Eye mystery box and Lily is here too. So Odin's Eye is a brand that I've been wanting to try for a while. They have a bit of a fairy tale aesthetic and most of their products are named after various mythologies, a number of Influencers who I follow their makeup channels have collaborated with them on eyeshadow palettes and they just look like really pretty products. I had just never gotten around to ordering from them. Last month they had a mystery box deal. They had a small mystery box, which I believe was $50 US and a large box, which I think was 75 US. I decided to go for the large box, which just came today. It's uh, the website and the experience of ordering is very good for someone here in Canada. The website is nice because you can just change currencies so you can see everything in your own currency. This ended up being $99 Canadian. There was no shipping, there was no taxes, and there was no surprise import or duty fees because they pay that on their side. So that was very nice to just have like a straight $99 with no extras. These products do ship out from China and my box arrived exactly two weeks after I ordered it, which is pretty good. Um, I have opened the box, but I haven't specifically opened any of the products yet. Everything came very nicely wrapped and uh, lots of bubble wrap and things. The, the box here says, be your own fairy, which is kind of cute. Immediately upon opening the box, I was excited because I saw that it included their brush kit. And even though I have so many makeup brushes, that's one thing I feel I can never have enough of, especially eyeshadow brushes. I can't have enough giant face brushes, which some, uh, some companies seem to like to sell a lot of in their mystery boxes, but this comes in this beautiful pink and sort of like minty green little case. So it's really good for like traveling and things. I actually might use this for traveling soon. And inside comes six different brushes and they're all very cute. They've got that same green and pink color scheme. We've got a tiny little shader brush, which I love these. These are very useful for me, especially with a little less real estate on my eyelids. Oh, they're very, very soft. We've got a shader brush for packing on color. We've got sort of a larger shader brush, a big fluffy blending brush, a pencil brush, and then sort of a small shader. So all really good, useful shapes. And I will definitely um, get a lot of use of these. I find that the more eyeshadow brushes you have, the less you need to wash your brushes. So these brushes retail for $35.90. I believe that's American. I don't see a way to change uh, currency on the mobile site. But uh, yeah, very happy with this first item. Next up is, I believe, a highlighter. This is the Norns Mesmerizer Veil of Future. This writing is very small. Um, so it comes in this beautiful little packaging here. Um, it's got like a nice sort of embossment, a sort of goddess looking lady with all kinds of stars. Super pretty. If I can get it out of here, there we go. And then on the inside, we've got this beautiful highlighter. It's got this gorgeous marbled appearance. It's sort of gold and purple. And yeah, it looks super beautiful. I'm going to put this on right now. Just see what it looks like. You know, I'm not a huge fan of highlighter, but honestly, I'm really glad I got a purplish one because I tend to like those for some reason, so. So it looks fairly subtle, which I kind of like. Just a nice little purplish gold sheen on the cheekbones. Very pretty. I really love the packaging of this. And the highlighters retail for $23.90. Now it looks like I've got three eyeshadow palettes in here and three lip products. So it is a lot of stuff. 
for the price. The first eyeshadow palette is the big one. It is the Alva palette. And I have to admit, I was looking at the website and they have a number of different palettes. I think they've got like probably a dozen different palettes. And of all of them, this is probably the one I would have put last on my list of things I wanted. Just because it's the color story I sort of always complain about. Oh, this feels so nice. It's got like a like a really textured front here. And this is it. It's really pretty actually. But it's just on first glance, it's definitely that sort of rosy with neutrals, except I really like the addition of these yellows here. That's very cool. And the shimmers look absolutely beautiful. So that is the Alva palette and it retails for $31.90. Next up, a couple smaller palettes. This is the Alva 2 Mini Ocean palette. These come so nicely packed to keep everything very secure and undamaged on their trip here. So we'll take this out. We've got this again, beautiful artwork on it. And this one, gorgeous. I actually really like this one. It is sort of a, you know, an ocean theme. I really like these blues. I don't have a ton of blues in my collection, so I'm happy for that. I really like this sort of dual one here. And these are very nice warm browns. I especially like this starfish color, which is like an orange with a gold shimmer through it. So these are really gorgeous. I really like this little one. These mini palettes retail for $20.90. Next up, we have the Verdandi palette, which looks gorgeous. Looks like it's going to be a bluey purple theme, at least based on the artwork. Let's see, oh, not quite, sort of. This is it here. Uh, very cool. This is sort of definitely a different color scheme than I'm used to seeing. So we've got a couple sort of corally and then like a really bright sort of vermilion kind of color. Uh, these really nice sort of orange and blue shimmers, a sort of plummy, like a like a not too intense plum, and then a beautiful sort of greeny, goldy brown almost. This is a nice, a nice color story. So again, $20.90 for this. So I'm just going to put on some of these. I'm going to go with the Alva 2 Mini Ocean. It's sort of standing out to me the most right now. So I'm going to start in. Oh, let me use the new brushes since all of my other brushes are not the cleanest right now. So I'm just going to take the big fluffy blending brush and go into aqua, which is the very pale sort of baby blue color here. And this is just going to go, oh, wow into my crease. I'm, wow, okay, I'm, <laughs> I didn't think this was gonna be so, quite so intense. I'm not wearing a primer. I just barely touched it in the pan and it's, uh, that is some good color payoff right there. Boy, I was not expecting that from a sort of pastel-y blue color. That's really nice. Now I'm going to go in with the little shader brush here and I'm going to take Under the Sea, which is a sort of bright shimmery blue. And I'm going to just pack that on the outer corner. Oh, that's super nice. I really like how all of these are applying right now. could probably make this even more intense with a primer underneath or by using my finger instead of a brush, but I'm not going for too much right now. 
Okay, and now for most of the lid, I'm gonna go in with these blue star and jellyfish colors. I think I'm gonna go into both and I'm just gonna use my finger. Actually, should I use both? I'm gonna go in more on the blue star side, which is the tealy color and just spread that across the lid here. It's really nice. And then just taking the little pencil brush, I'm going to go in the other side of that on the jellyfish, which is more of the, the sort of more purpley side, and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner. This one's very sparkly. Ooh, very sparkly. Okay, that's basically it for the top. Now I'm just going to go in with one of the other colors. I'm going to try um, starfish or golden sand. I'm gonna do golden sand, which is the just the nice brown shimmer. And I'm just going to take it on this even smaller shader brush and I'm just gonna put it under the lash line. Not going too far with this, just a nice little bit of color and shimmer just to darken up that lower lash. Okay, there we go. Let me just zoom you in for one second. And that's the final look with the mini ocean palette. I really like that. I was so impressed with especially how that pastel blue went in on the crease, but yeah, super nice color story. This is definitely uh, a unique one among my collection. So very happy about that. Looking forward to trying the other palettes as well. Even the Alva, which wouldn't have been my first choice has some really nice colors in it. So, now that we've done that, let's just move on to the lip products that we've got. I got two matte lip stains. I should have opened these first, maybe. The first one is in the shade Ripe Papaya, which sounds very nice. Again, beautiful little packaging, and you can see the color on the top of the box as well. Oh, and they come in this really nice, like, translucent case. It's it's rather large. Like, there's a lot of extra space taken up here, but we'll see about that. And it just comes on a doe foot. So this is a very, yeah, I would call this almost like a bricky kind of color, more than a papaya. The other matte lip stain is in the shade Perfect Plum. Lots of packaging on these. And this one, really nice as well. I actually like this color quite a lot. This is the kind of color I definitely like. It's a nice deep plum color. And then the last thing is the Kiss of a Fairy lipstick in the shade Love Jasmine. I have no idea what color this is gonna be. I'm gonna open it with my teeth. I have plastic in my mouth. Again, very pretty, pretty fairy lady on the cover. And this looks like it's just a nice bullet lipstick. And what color is it? Oh, it's like a nudie brown color. I also very much like this kind of color of lipstick. So I'm not sure 
what these matte lip stains are like. I'm going to just try this on my hand first to see what that is like. I guess that's sort of just a liquid lipstick. It looks like it's got a nice sort of thin texture that I'm assuming is going to dry down after a little bit. I think, I mean, this would probably go, I think I'm going to go in with just the cream lipstick in the Love Jasmine. I love a good brown lipstick. It's so 90s, which is when I got into lipstick, so. Mm. Nice and soft and creamy. Mm. Goes on real nice. I think I started forgetting to tell you the prices of things. The bullet lipsticks retail for $16.90 and the lip stains retail for $15.90. So if I'm doing my math correctly and there's a good chance I'm not since I'm having to just go back and forth between my calculator and the website, this is $181.40 US dollars worth of products. So so translating that to Canadian, we're talking about $235 and I paid $99 for everything. So honestly, that's a pretty good deal. I'm very excited about most things in here, the brushes in particular, um, these smaller palettes as well. I really like the color stories of these. I'm looking forward to trying this Alva palette, even if it's not the color story I would have picked. Hey, Editing Pam here. I just wanted to add a couple more quick thoughts on a couple products since I've had a chance to use them more since filming this video. First is the Alva. In the video, I wasn't super excited about the color story, but I've actually had a chance to use this a couple times and it's really beautiful. What I particularly like is just the different textures. So we've got some more sort of opaque shimmers, some more that are more translucent and just give like a little hint of shine and glitter. I'm wearing this right now. Again, I still love these yellows and how well they show up. So I'm definitely more excited about this palette than I was initially in that video. However, on the other side of things, these lip stains, I'm not excited about. I don't know why they call them a lip stain. They're just a matte liquid lipstick. I'm wearing the plum one now. I find it sort of difficult to apply evenly uh, liquid lipstick. Sometimes like depending on the thickness you get, they can sort of look a little patchy, which I have found with this. I also tried one of them just after filming the video and after eating lunch and having a coffee, the product was still all on the outside of my lips, but like completely gone from the inside of my lips, which was not really a cute look. So I just feel like, uh, the time for matte liquid lipsticks is kind of over. So this is these are the two products from the whole box that I um, don't see myself getting really any use of anymore. I also like the lipsticks and the colors that I got and the highlighter, even though I don't wear highlighter a ton, it's a really pretty shade and something that's a little bit different from what I had. So overall, Pretty happy with this mystery box. Definitely more worth it for me than, you know, something like BoxyCharm where it tends to be very much hit and miss. I had already looked over the whole website and knew that there weren't very many things that I absolutely would not like to have. So I knew I would be pretty uh, happy with most of the products I got and that was the case. I really like this eyeshadow. I think this is a really pretty look and I don't know if I've ever done blue eyeshadow on this channel before. This lipstick is also super comfortable. It's a nice thin formula that's nice to wear. It's probably not gonna be one that stays on overly long, but that's okay. You can always reapply it. So yeah, that was my uh, first experience with Odin's Eye and what I got in my mystery box. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you wanna leave me a comment, tell me what you're doing. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.